YouTube, it's your boy Cole. We're back at it with another video. So a lot of people have been talking a bunch of mad shit. And I'm here to clarify it. I am not getting back with my ex. I made it very publicly clear on my YouTube that I broke up with Jessica. And then I told her, do not show up to my new place. I broke up with you. And she said, oh, I'd never do that without your permission. And then she does it anyways, calling Michelle a troll because she canceled the tickets. And I like Jessica, Michelle's not a fucking troll. I told her to cancel the tickets because we broke up. And then, <laughs> what's Jessica doing? She's begging my YouTube fans for hotel money. Uh, and it's bullshit. And my fans do so much for me as it is. It's not fair to me or my YouTube fans that she can't take a fucking hint. No, it's bullshit, dude. And the only reason I let her stay with me for her visit is because I'm not going to put that burden on my fans to give her a hotel room. That's bullshit. And you know what Jessica told me? It's not stalking because I love you. The bitch is fucking delusional, dude. I fucking told Jessica we broke up. And if she thinks we're getting back together, she is so far beyond gone delusional. It's pathetic. And it pisses me off that I'm being fucking stalked and harassed by fucking Jessica and all her mental bullshit. And people are giving me crap for it. Fuck off. No, YouTube, it's bullshit. It's not fair to my YouTube fans that Jessica can't take a fucking hint. And the thing of it is, I guarantee fucking to you, if I wasn't as famous as I was, Jessica wouldn't date me. Or try to. And realistically, if it were gender reversed, my ass would have a restraining order for stalking and harassment, but when she does it, it's so nice not to have her here right now screaming at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even get me fucking started. I'd buy us a little bit of alcohol, and then she'd drink most of it, and then as soon as I drank some of the alcohol she bought, she'd be like, save some for me, and I'm like, that's rich. And then, when Chris tells Courtney that Jessica's hanging out with me, what does Jessica do? She immediately goes live on her stupid fucking Instagram and confirms it. And it's like, that's what I'm getting at. Jessica doesn't think, she just does without impulse. And it's super fucking annoying. And the only reason I guess Chris even bought her the plane ticket is because he wanted content. And he, he could have said that from the get-go. But I'm like, that's not how it works. You weren't doing it because you care about Jessica. You were doing it because you wanted content. And I'm like, that's bullshit. No, Jessica is incredibly toxic for me and I do not need her psychological bullshit. She uses love and her psychotic emotions to manipulate and bully me. You crazy bastards, King Cobra JFS back at it with another video. Hope you all are doing fantastic. I have a bottle of peach mango body armor light. This is one of, if not my favorite uh, sports drink. It's got a lot of stuff in it that's good for you check all that right there yeah it's got two of my favorite flavors of fruit and mm. oh, it's good. 
That is fucking tasty stuff right there, people. You stick that in the fridge and it gets ice cold. Ugh. Oh, that hits. That hits so good. So anyways, I do post videos of Terrence Pop on the old Facebook page. Of my Facebook page. And I'll make the post public. And I got a comment from somebody that wasn't even my friend on Facebook. It was a public comment on my public post. They were telling me not to watch Terrence Pop because it's just content created for angry divorced men. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, I figured I'd address that comment because I blocked them from my Facebook. And I says, right now, if you don't like what I post on my Facebook page, then don't watch it. But why is it that... Hold on one second. Blow that out the open window there. Why is it that women can have a ton of talk shows and or podcasts or YouTube channels or like TikToks dedicated to trashing on men? Why is it that women are the only ones, only ones allowed to be bitter about divorce? When women control sex, dating, divorce, and society in general, because as it sits, society is stacked against men. And because nobody gives a fuck about men's mental health, and that's another, a number one reason why I watch Sharon's Pop is because he cares about men's mental health and he helps prevent men from killing themselves. And speaking of suicide, let's have another hit of this cigarette. Because as it sits, YouTube, women control sex, dating, divorce, and they just, you know what I'm saying? First of all, women are like, we're sick and tired of men running everything. And it's like, well, you in a society expect men to toughen up and run everything and do everything and pay for everything. And then you get mad because, well, men make more money than women. And like I've said before, there's a reason why women make less money than men. Because traditionally speaking, men will take on more tougher and more dangerous jobs. And because men are expected to pay for everything. And when it comes to divorce courts, women aren't being handed child support payments, are they? Go ahead, I'll wait. Now, I watched my uh, father go through a very messy divorce with my first birth mother. And by all accounts, my stepmom's a way better mom anyways. But that's not the point. And when I was a, a little kid watching that, I had no idea. But after I've grown up and I've been red-pilled, you know what I'm saying? I look back on it and I'm like, yeesh. My dad had to fight like hell to get custody of me. He did. The uh, divorce between my father and my birth mother was... Pretty fucking messy. And then after the fact, after he did divorce her, she tried like hell to get me taken away from him by lying to Child Protective Services, calling the cops on him nonstop, just real psychotic shit. And she finally eventually stopped and it accepted her own fate. And what Terrence Pop does is he helps men with mental abuse and physical abuse that they receive from women. He helps them with their mental issues. He helps men with their depression through comedy. You know what I'm saying? So why is it we can have like 10 million fucking shows on YouTube, podcasts, whatever, of women trashing men? 
But it's like, women don't need grief counseling from divorce when they control it. It's a question I'd like to ask you. Why is it that men are not allowed to be bitter about breakups, but women are? Like, that is such bullshit. And if you don't like what I post on my Facebook page, then don't watch it. It's my page. I'll do what the fuck I want with it. As long as I'm not posting super graphic content, who cares? And the truth of it is, our society is stacked against men. No one cares about our feelings or our emotions. If we try to explain ourselves or be like, this is how I'm feeling, we get told you're just mansplaining. But don't you dare accuse a woman of nagging because that makes you an ass. And it's a little too early in the day to be drinking alcohols. So that's why I'm slamming one of these delicious bastards. So I was watching an episode, I was watching a video on South Park that came up recently, and it's the scene where Wendy Testerberger flips out on Butters for rejecting one of her female friends. Uh, and the response Butters gives that he wants a woman who looks good and takes care of herself and it pisses Wendy Testaburger off and it's like well here's the thing of it whenever it comes to like the whole body positivity movement it's only for chicks let's be realistic Women can reject you for being fat and not having a six-pack abs, but if you reject her because her tits aren't big enough, you're a fucking pig. And to be fair, to be fair, women are held to a higher beauty standard than men. Most people don't give a shit if men are fat and hairy and gross, but I digress. So I will extend an olive branch on that situation, but... Women and men want the same thing. And it's only called out on the shallow bullshit when men do it. That's called a double standard. Looks are not everything, but if you can't get a hard on when you try to fuck her, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> when it comes to love, you gotta find someone you're attracted to physically and mentally. You have a healthy balance of both, it'll work. Uh, uh, here's a thought. If you don't like what somebody posts on their fucking social media page, don't watch. Don't watch. You don't like what somebody posts, it's, 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 it's that simple. You don't like what I post on my YouTube or my Facebook, then don't watch. Don't comment. Because your comments are just going to get deleted and you're going to get blocked. There's plenty of YouTubers I don't like. And I don't watch them because I don't care for their content. There are plenty of people on Facebook who post crap about stuff I don't like. So I ignore it. Like, this is the toxicity of social media as a whole. You see someone post something on social media you don't like so you immediately have to comment like your ocd triggers you into doing it you know what i'm saying and it's bullshit and if you do this the stats men's suicide rates are higher than women's and uh women want to scream about how sexist it is that the minimum wage pay gap doesn't pay women the same amount of money well, the sexist part is true to a point, but women's products cost more money. And when women's clothing, etc., cost more money, and men are expected to pay for everything, and then when nine times out of ten men get screwed over in divorce court. And nobody cares, because you're a man. Suck it up, pussy. That's what it is.
You cannot expect men to run everything and then get pissed off as soon as we do it. That's kind of bullshit. Pick a lane. And if, like, women do what Terrence Pop does for women, nobody bats a fucking eye. If women do what Terrence Pop does for men, for other women, by building them up, telling them you're strong, that you don't gotta fall for all the bullshit on the dating scene, you know, that men are trash, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Women everywhere are yes lighting and going, yes, queen, slay, preach it. Why is it that when women get treated like shit on the dating scene, people seem to give a fuck? But when men get treated like crap on the dating scene, we're told to just suck it up, pussy, and maybe you shouldn't have pissed her off. Hmm. Because dudes want to get laid. It's what it is. It's what it is. And women, modern women, not all of them, but the majority of modern women have been brainwashed by fourth wave fem cell cunts. And they call it modern day feminism. And modern day feminism is incredibly toxic. It's taught women to hate each other, to hate men, and to blame themselves for nothing while blaming men for everything. In the episode of South Park, uh, excuse me, talking about how like Photoshop sets unrealistic body expectations for for women, uh, it can also set unrealistic because you think they don't use Photoshop to enhance a man's looks. Oh, but you can't say that because it goes against the narrative. Kiss my ass. <sighs> Excuse me. And there are plenty of good looking dudes who set unrealistic expectations for dudes everywhere. You know, maybe you haven't been laid in six months to a year and you're feeling not the most handsomest. So to take your mind off of it, you go to watch some new movie coming out, some action packed movie, right? Got Vin Diesel, The Rock, whoever, you know. And then some, somewhere halfway through the movie, an explosion in the movie happens. And the dude's got his shirt ripped off and he's oiled, he's chiseled. You know, he's got the ultimate male physique. And you're trying not to feel bad about the way you look, but then you see three to four hot young chicks munching their popcorn sitting, sitting in front of you going nuts over the shirtless dude. And then you, as a guy, you immediately feel like crap about the way you look. And then as a dude, you can't say anything because you'll get told you're just mansplaining. Fuck off. And it's like if a chick rejects you because you're too fat for her taste, no one's gonna call her a body shaming hypocritical cunt about it. No, they're not. They're going to tell you, well, dude, how badly do you want that chick to fuck you? Or to hit the gym, fat ass. And the truth of it is, not every dude likes a super fit chick. And not every chick likes a super fit dude. You know? But the way our society pins people against each other based off of race, creed, sexual orientation, and gender, and what have you, and class, and... It's disgusting. Instead of focusing on what makes humans the same and why we need to get along, and as long as you're not a sicko, who gives a shit? I have no problem with gay people because I like getting my dick sucked by chicks. I like eating that pussy. So I'm like, I'm not here to judge, you know, women or men for liking the what they like, you know? Just the way I look at it. If gay dudes want to suck each other's dicks, Man, hey, more power to you, man. The chicks want to eat each other out. More power to you, you know. I like getting my dick sucked by chicks. I like eating out chicks' pussies. And my qualifications for a woman are not that difficult. Biologically gendered, alive, non-related, consenting female adult. Pretty straightforward. If she happens to be a smoke show and has physical attractive qualities to go with her personality, then that's a bonus. 
But what it comes down to is women are totally allowed to be shallow, and because of that, uh, excuse me, you see some busted ass chicks with the highest standards. And it's like, oh, aren't you adorable? And good for them, right? But like the guys they want are not going to go after chicks like that because the guys who are the top tier, you know what I'm saying? are going after chicks way harder. And what it comes down to is women are programmed to crave a man who provides. And that's just it. When men are expected to provide everything, go to war, fight for your country, come home and have the skills to be able to fix cars, buy you a house, bring home the bacon, and this is why men feel insecure with themselves when women make more money than they do because men are being programmed that if you're not making more money than the woman, that you're a beta bitch and you're a pussy and blah, 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 and fuck all that. That is such horseshit. So all you can do in that situation is support your woman and provide for the relationship in other ways. It does not make you less of a man if the woman makes more money. It doesn't. You know, women want men who are good looking and take care of themselves and what have you. But when men want the same thing, we're shallow pigs. And it's like the hypocrisy of the genders is a real thing. And oddly enough, when I call it out, like I see it, people call me a fucking asshole. And it's like, I'm not trying to be a fucking asshole. I'm just trying to help women and men better understand each other.